Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint Fabrication. Well, we got a quick little job today. We're going to paint some brand new plastic parts. So I'll show you how I do it so the paint adheres and you get a really nice finish. So let's jump over to the bench and I'll show you a few tricks. Okay, the two parts we need to paint today are the vents for the AC system on the 65 Malibu. So uh, you guys already saw me cut the holes for these, so all, now we have to get them painted. Now these are brand new, um, they're uh, shiny and glossy, so they've never been painted. So we need to, first thing we need to do is clean them thoroughly. And the way to do that, I like to do it, is uh, really warm water and a strong detergent like uh, your uh, dishwashing soap, like Cascade or something. That stuff will eat just about anything. So um, I like to scrub them real good inside and out, get them clean, uh, rinse them off well, and then let them dry. The next step uh, after that is you need to make sure that the mold release is off of there. Now, um, if you, you saw my other video, perhaps where I was showing you how to mask and a little trick to uh, get tape to stick to places it doesn't want to stick. Uh, we're going to use the same trick right here. So what I've got here is just propane uh, torch and what we're going to do is we're just going to wave it over the top of these and what that does is it just burns off, it doesn't get them hot, it just burns off all that mold release. And so we're just kind of wave it over the top and it just kind of burns that off You can see some little sparks flying out once in a while. That's probably dust. So I just want to wipe over these real good with the flame and make sure all the mold release is burned off. Now I learned this at work. Uh, we were putting uh, stickers on, uh, on hard hats. And the hard hats come and they're pretty slimy and kind of uh, slippery. So uh, we learned that from a guy that said, hey, just wave a propane torch over the top of that and it'll burn off all that mold release and those stickers will stick like, you know, like glue like they're supposed to. And sure enough, it did. And it works on a lot of other stuff. So these are warm to the touch, but uh, you know, it's, I didn't get it hot enough to melt or anything. I didn't scorch it. You just kind of wave it over the top real quick. Now the next thing I like to do is, we make sure the torch is off here, is I like to degloss them. Now deglossing them, it depends on what plastic you're using and you know, what you got going on. So I've got some lacquer thinner here. Now you could use acetone, but I think acetone's a little hot for this. Um, and so what you want to do is take some, uh, some lacquer thinner on a rag and, uh, and you just wipe over it really quick. I mean, really quick. You don't uh, linger, you don't hold it on there a long time and you just kind of wipe it super quick. And as you touch it, you can feel that it's gotten sticky right where you wiped, okay? And then you just set it down and then just do the same thing to the other part. You can see my Sharpie marks on there for when I was test fitting. So what you want to do is just wipe that really good everywhere you're going to spray paint. And what that does is it breaks the glaze on that, the shininess, and actually dulls it up a little bit. And that, that's one more step to get that paint to stick properly because the plastic is often so tight that uh, the paint does not want to stick properly. It will stick, but it may peel later, you know, so you want to give yourself the best shot that you can at getting the paint to stick. Now, when I touch these now, after uh, running the torch over them and then just wiping them with lacquer thinner, now the surface doesn't feel quite the same. It's a, it's a little, not rough, but it's not so glass-like. So these are really good and it's almost kind of sticky, you know, and that's perfect. That's what you want. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Scotch-Brite pad, just a little one, and I'm gonna scuff these up really well. And then after that, we're gonna take some, uh, some adhesion, adhesion promoter, excuse me. And uh, this stuff is pretty good stuff. Now I've used this on chrome where I didn't scuff the chrome, where I just cleaned the chrome really well with steel wool because I was painting some chrome and the person didn't know if they wanted to keep it painted. So they wanted the option of just spraying it with some, uh, you know, a paint stripper, stripping all the paint off and going back to chrome on their parts. So we didn't want to damage the parts. So I took steel wool, just four aught, and got them good and clean, uh, cleaned them off really well, wiped it down with lacquer thinner, and then I sprayed this adhesion promoter on there, let it sit 10 minutes, and then I just sprayed the color coat right over the top. 
and uh, it's stuck. Uh, now it took a few rock chips and everything else. You can see where the paint chipped off, but it sticks pretty good. So adhesion promoter, if you're not sure, I'm not saying you have to use it, but I'm gonna use it on this because I'm gonna spray these with a little bit of primer because I added on a little piece right here and I've got a little piece of uh, epoxy that I added on right here. So uh, I wanna go ahead and get a little bit of primer on here and then get them sprayed uh, with that and then let it dry and then sand really well and then spray it with the black. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these outside. We're gonna spray them with the adhesion promoter and after this sets up, after your you know, second or third coat, you wanna spray whatever you're gonna spray onto them, whether it's a top coat or, or primer uh, within 10 minutes. This is kind of a wet on wet system here. You don't want to let it dry all the way. And this is super thin. This is clear. You can't, I mean, it's, it's like spraying lacquer thinner almost. So, you know, you just fog it on there really light and give it two or three light coats and then uh, wait 10 minutes and then just go and spray whatever you're going to spray right on top of it. So let me get these sprayed and primed and then uh, we'll move forward with getting some color on them. Okay, guys, uh, as you can see, I just have these... Um, vents just kind of a sheet metal screw into the lid of a spray can uh, anything that'll work so it's holding it up so i can get all the way around it really nice and when it's painted then i can just pick it up and put it inside for safekeeping while it dries so i just got them set up here and uh, i said i was going to spray some primer on here after the adhesion uh, promoter but uh, i looked at my work and i sanded that out really nice so i'm just going to spray the adhesion promoter on and then we're going to let that set about 10 minutes and then we're going to go straight to some gloss black so let me uh, let me get this stuff sprayed on here and we'll get some black mixed up so it's ready to go Like I said, this stuff is uh, it's pretty, pretty thin. Very, very light coats is all you need to get started here. And since it's clear, you know, it's kind of hard to see, you know, what you're doing, especially painting onto these uh, kind of a yellowish white color here. Try to spray up underneath there. Okay, I'm gonna let this uh, I'm gonna let this sit just a, a few minutes, and then I'm gonna hit it again, and then I'll see make sure I got good coverage. I probably will uh, just after two coats, and then we'll get some black mixed up and get these things sprayed. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. The good thing about using the uh, spray can like this, I can pick it up and get up underneath real good. I want to make sure I get a good coat down inside so none of this white shows through when it's all put together. Sorry, try to keep it inside the frame of the camera here. So I got that kind of hit all the way around. I'm going to let it set up and I'll go do the other one. So you always want to make sure you paint, you know, these things because you don't know what may, you know, poke through, show through a little bit, a little bit of, you know, white or whatever when you paint them black. So you want to make sure you give yourself a good chance of not having anything showing. Then you go to put it together and you're like, ah, oh, crap, I can see white or whatever. Now I'm not hitting it super heavy, I'm just trying to get it black. We're going to get it glossy here in a minute. So that looks good right there. Put that one aside. Get this one. Now it's pretty warm, it's early, it's uh, barely eight o'clock and it's almost 80 degrees already. So I'm gonna be able to get back on these real quick. And just keep putting coats on them. I 
you know, plenty of paint. I mixed up a little tiny batch, so. All right, let's hit it good here. Using my little tiny gun. It's been acting up lately. I think I need to take it apart and soak it. I don't always uh, clean this one as good as I should. It's so small, it's kind of hard to take apart. All right, we got them both glossy. They're looking really good, but I want to get some more paint on them, so I'm going to let those dry a little bit, and then we're going to hit them again. Make sure we get plenty of film thickness on that thing, just in case they get rough handled while they're in the car. So let's let these flash off, oh, five minutes, and then I'll come back and we'll get another coat on them. Okay, all done. Came out really nice. Got a black everywhere. Still need to dry. But I'm happy the way they came out. And they're going to look great once those chrome uh, balls go inside and they're all installed on the car. So that is that. That's how I paint plastic. Okay guys, that just about wraps up this little quick video on how I paint plastic parts. I hope you got something out of it. Thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint Fabrication. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And mash that bell icon so you get notifications every time I release a new video. We'll see you on the next one.